Good morning, YouTube. This is Ivy. I'm uh, reviewing some more cards today. I went to a Magic Grand Prix yesterday. Um, my roommate, he plays a lot of Magic. Um, I play Magic, so, you know, I figured I'd go to this and see what's going on there. Uh, there were a lot of people. It had to be about, I'd say about 2,000 people there. There's a Magic uh, Grand, P Grand Prix in Orlando, Florida. So when I was there, I picked up a few cards. Uh, this should definitely help my commander deck. So this video is a review of these cards that I picked up. So first up, I mean, we've got Horizon Canopy. Now this card um, is from a set called Future Sight. You know, in the mid-2000s, I really wanted to buy some, you know, more magic cards, but I guess I never really got the chance to. And one of the sets I really liked was Future Sight. Um, one thing that really stands out with these cards is just that the, the design is just different than most magic cards. I mean, the artwork's really good on them, but really the way that the card is, is set up and everything, it just, it really stands out as a set that was just a magic really only did a one-off thing. Wizards of the Coast only really made these for one, one set of cards, but I really like them. Uh, just the design of the cards, it's different and just the way they look and a lot of the art on these is re again really really well put together um so you can see the difference between a regular magic card and a future sight card see and just the difference in the border how this, how this is all different here now this of course is a non-basic land um uh, if you notice what it can do uh, i'm gonna this is the reason why i like this land is that um you can tap it I could pay one life and I can get either uh, green or white mana, a forest or a plains. Now what's good about this is in commander format, you start out with 40 life. So paying one life, not really a big deal, not really a problem. And, um, you know, if I need, if later in the game, I've got a lot of lands out, I don't really maybe need a lot of lands to play what it is that's in my hand, I can pay one mana. Tap and sacrifice this to draw an extra card. You know, maybe I'll get a spell I need to help me uh, win the game or something. It's a really good card. I've always wanted one of these, and I was able to pick one pick one up at one of the vendors at the Magic uh, tournament. So it's really cool. All right, the next card is another card from Future Sight, Grove of Burn Willows. Very similar to the last card. Um, only difference here is that when you tap it for the either color of mana, uh, each opponent gains life. So in Commander, it's kind of a nice thing to do your, to all your opponents, give them an extra life, but it doesn't really have much of a negative effect on your play because, you know, one person have one extra life isn't too big of a deal in Commander when you have uh, start off with 40 life. So definitely a, a good card to have. Very pretty artwork. If you can see, look. Yeah, look at that. Really pretty pretty trees and things. Alright, let's look at the next one. I've got Steam Vents. Now, Steam Vents, um, what's good about this card, really, is that when it enters the battlefield, you can pay two life. Again, if you're in Commander, you're starting off with 40 life, so losing two isn't too bad. It's not really a big deal. Um, now, if it's your first turn, you just let it play, come into play tapped. When it's your next turn, it'll just untap anyway, so it doesn't really affect you. But when you need either a blue or a red mana, definitely helpful if you need it right away. If you want to cast a spell for one, you have it in your hand, you let this card come into play um, untapped by paying the two life, and you are good to go. Let's look at the next card. Cascade Bluffs. Now, this is what they call a, a filter land. Um, what happens here is that sometimes um, you may have a spell that you can only cast uh, with a certain color or a certain couple colors. Uh, with this card, you can either pay a, a red or a blue mana and turn it into something else. So you can turn it into two blue or a red and a blue or two red. You know, whatever it is you need. So you really just use one to get to really useful card to get you extra mana and get you the right colors that you need. Kind of like a filter. I think they call these filter lands. So, you know, for the deck build I'm trying to do right now, this seems to be a really, really good card to have. All right, next one. 
is another Cascade Bluffs. Again, in Commander, you can only really have one non-basic land of each type like this. So I might use this in a different deck that I'm working on. So it's good to have it. It's a really good card. The next card here is very similar to Cascade Bluffs. This is Rugged Prairie. The main difference here is that instead of just um, instead of just the color, really. So if you look at it, you can see that you can add uh, two red, a red and a white, or two white. So two mountains, mountain and uh, plains, or two plains. Very helpful. Let's get the next card. Polluted Delta. Polluted Delta. Let's take a look at that. So you pay one life. You sacrifice this card. Tap it and sacrifice. And you could search your library for an island or a swamp. And put that in the battlefield. And then you shuffle your library. Now the reason why this is really good is that um, let's say you need blue or, or black mana, but you don't have any. If you draw this card, you can go get one from your from your deck, from your library. What's really neat about that is the more lands that you pull out of your library, the more likely you are to pull spells that you need. So this card right here could be very helpful. A uh, good card to have, you know, to play spells and different things that you need when you need them kind of thing. So let's go to the next card. Now, this one is not a land, obviously. It is a thing called an Eldrazi. Now, these, um, I did not have this guy, but uh, he is really powerful. Emrakul, the Promised End. Now, you can see this card is very expensive to try to just cast. 13 mana. 13 mana, that's huge. So... It does have a clause built into it that looks like it allows you to reduce its cost if you have a variety of different card types in your graveyard. Kind of neat. There's probably another, you know, a bunch of other ways to get him out with other cards to draw him into the battlefield different ways. And I think, um, uh, I think there's an elf that uh, you can tap it for one green mana and put a creature from your hand in, into the battlefield. And, uh, you can do stuff like that. You know, as long as you can keep the elf out and tap it, you get this guy out. He's really strong. Um, if you look at his second ability, or his second paragraph there, when you cast Emrakul, you gain control of target opponents. A target opponent during that player's turn. Next turn. After that turn, the player takes an extra turn. What's kind of neat about this is that I suppose you could really... Just use this guy to, you know, mess up your other player's day. Just make him make a lot of bad decisions and, I don't know, discard things or play things that don't help him or whatever. But uh, look at this guy. He looks like Cthulhu. I mean, seriously, tentacles everywhere. Look at all those tentacles. Just, this guy shows up, you know what, I, I think whatever plane you live on is pretty much, yeah, you're pretty much done. Look at that. He's like the Magic Magic the Gathering version of Cthulhu. Look at that. Tentacles. Going through all those buildings and destroying that city. Pure madness. Um, and he's got Flying Trample Protection from Instance. This guy's really strong. You can get him out. Boy. Didn't have him, so I was like, hmm. I wonder if I could find a way to use him. Pretty neat. All right. Now, we have something a little special here. Um, next card is this one. Now, what's unique about this card, it looks just like a regular magic card, which it, it really kind of is, but there's something really different about it. If you turn it over, there's no normal magic back. Most magic cards in the back look like that. Now, this card is very special. This comes from an artist. It's called an artist proof. Now, in an, now for Magic the Gathering, all the art on the cards is um, custom designed by unique, uh, uniquely designed uh, by different artists. So this gentleman here, Jason A. Engel, did the art for this particular card, for example. And each artist is given 50 proofs. And this card in particular 
is he drew a picture on the back. Very unique card. I don't know if these are tournament legal. I, I, I want to say they're probably not, considering there's no normal back on it. But I, I suppose he could play it as a card in a deck, but really it's just for the, you know, collectible value or maybe not even if you don't, you know, for me it's just about supporting the artist's being an artist is a really sometimes a hard thing to do. It, you 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 don't really make money on a regular basis. You get commission jobs or you get paid based on the art you know the art you do and then who buys it and that kind of thing. And you just don't really get a steady week to week paycheck. So anytime you can support an artist, I say you know go for it. Make sure you do that because you know that's what having beautiful art, wonderful music, all these things really make our world a much better place. You know. There's a lot of uh, great uh, musicians and people that put a lot of time and their life's effort and their soul into these things. And, you know, it's a really good thing to give a, give a little bit of that, you know, give a little bit of respect and give that back to them. You know, buy stuff from the artist. Don't ask them to do stuff for free because, you know, that's not really, really nice. You wouldn't want to go to your job for free. But this isn't really about a lecture. It's about magic cards. So I'm just saying, you know, help them out. You can see he uh, custom drew a little picture on the back. Really cool, huh? And let's do this. I'm going to pull out for a second. This is a play map by the same artist. What's, what's amazing about this, and one thing that caught my eye was that uh, if you look at her headpiece, if you know anything about Mesopotamian uh, mythology and history she looks very much like the goddess Ishtar so if you look at her you could see that uh, if you ever you can google this this is really easy to check out if you look at the goddess Ishtar also known in Sumerian as Inanna she looks very similar to this she has wings and her headdress is, is just like that I study a lot of um ancient history and mythology and esotericism and all kinds of interesting topics. But this is definitely a beautiful rendition of what I believe is the goddess Ishtar. And the same artist that uh, did that magic card did this, this image and he signed it. Check it out. Isn't that cool? It was really nice. He was a really nice gentleman. I love artists. Very beautiful. And I also bought some tokens from him. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those. And here we go. First token is a elemental. Well, he's an upside down elemental until he looks like that. And maybe we can get a better... There we go. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So pretty, right? Let's go to the next one. Zombie. Now that is a sexy zombie. Look at that. I bet you there's a lot of guys right now saying, oh, I wish she would eat me. There we go. Nice, huh? And then we've got a vampire. Vampires. Vampires are really cool. I consider myself goth, so, you know, zombies, vampires. I kind of love this stuff. Lots of, lots of good stuff there. Look at that. Hmm. Beautiful picture. And we got a dragon. Rawr. Rawr. Dragon. Look at that. And Angel. Avenging Angel. She's going to smite some things. Probably cut down maybe a couple of vampires, dragons, and, and demons. Look at that. Angel. And an elf warrior. I need these guys for a deck. I have a elf token deck, and these make really great little tokens for my token deck. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. He's hot, actually. Um, kind of wish he was my boyfriend. Look at that. Huh. All right. Let's see. We've got... Hmm, let's see what we got here. we got a soldier token. Look at that, right? Look at that artwork. So pretty. Moon in the background, eagle, soldier. Kind of love that, right? Jason, Jason Engel. Yeah, maybe you want to visit his website. Look at that. Yep. 
check them out, maybe buy some stuff from them. And let's see. That should do all the tokens. So this should conclude the video right now. And I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the cards I picked up. And thanks a bunch. I'll be making more videos about Magic the Gathering here. Uh, so subscribe to my channel. Uh, check this stuff out. I hope you enjoy this thing. And if you have any questions or want to leave comments, by all means, you're welcome to. Thank you. Bye-bye.